This is the DCC controller. It's an Arduino-based uh, device, and there are a number of components sitting on top of the Arduino Uno that are worth discussing. They're described in great detail on my webpage. First of all is an LM18200H bridge, which is the power controller that supplies power uh, to run the DCC system. There is a small infrared detector right here on a small board that picks up codes from a standard uh, TV remote control. This happens to be set for Sony uh, protocol and uh, gives you the commands that uh, allow you to use the, uh, the device. And th this is a two line by 16 character liquid crystal display that ties into the, uh, the Arduino to give you some feedback on what's going on. Right now, it's showing that the speed is zero uh, the DCC address is 30, and these numbers down on the bottom are the functions, starting over here with the first rightmost zero is function 0, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You'll notice there's a 1 at the end. That has the sound turned off. I'm going to hit the reset button on the Arduino, let it start up again, gives you a version number, and with a little bit of luck, the sound comes on on the locomotive. And if I press the 3 button, You may see that one changing. That turns the, uh, the horn on and off. If I hit number two, that should turn on the bell. Turn that one off. And if I push the up arrow, you'll notice the speed increasing. Locomotive going off to the left. I'll hit the, but the down arrow and it's, see it's decreasing. And now, since it's negative, it's going to go backwards. And if I hit the exit key at the bottom, you'll see that jump to zero and immediately stop the locomotive. It works rather well. There's still some bugs in the software, but uh, at least it's enough for the time being to experiment with. Just for the connections, this runs to the track. It's hooked on, uh, gives the DCC power to the track, and this is just connected to a 12-volt, 1-amp power supply. Uh, it's really all you need to get the whole thing operating, and it works rather well, again, on an experimental basis. Just doing a quick reset, I'd like to show a couple of other functions. Uh, one important thing, remember the address we had for this locomotive was set to 30. Uh, the device writes that address to memory so that if you power down the system or reset it, it will come back to the same address you were using before. Uh, if I wanted to change that address, let's say that my uh, locomotive was 18 instead of 30, just hit the menu button and it says enter a two-digit address, so I'll hit the 1, the 8, and then it says OK to exit menu, hit OK. Now we're set to 18, of course this locomotive will not operate. Let's take it back to 30, menu, 3, 0, enter. Uh, let's put that noisy horn on. Put the bell on. If you want to stop everything at once, if you hit the zero, you'll notice it clears everything and shuts those down. And of course, you may recall from earlier, if I hit number nine, it will silence the sound altogether. 